Good morning. I'm Sanchez Jarrett. I'm a scientist here in the Structural Biology and Biophysics group. And uh, thank you for joining me as we go through the typical day of a structural biologist. Structural biology. It's a term to describe the science of determine structures of macromolecules, so proteins, RNA, DNA. It's really the science of making the invisible, so to speak, come to life. It's like pure magic, really. The primary technique we use to get structures for this disease area is crystallography. And what I'm doing here is looking at the results of our crystallization experiment. These are what a classic example of really nice crystals look like. You can see these are like perfect single crystal, nice sharp edges. That's literally our target for this drug disease area bound to a small molecule. So what I'm going to do with that particular hit is go and grab those raw materials, recreate the sample, working in a larger format so we can send the best thing we can to these synchrotrons to collect data. So right at this moment, I'm going to start aliquotting my cherry-picked conditions for optimizing the crystals. The ones that crystallize, but the crystal form may have not been ideal. Like maybe they were clustered or they were just tiny. We'll play with some ratios and concentration of materials, and that will affect how the crystals grow. If you've ever taken one of these intro chemistry courses where you'll try and crystallize the solution. And if you do it too fast, like if you put it under the heat too fast, you get powder. But if you do it very slowly and controlled, you get large like rock crystals. And that's in a sense what's happening. Once we know how our small molecule binds to our target, we can start having these discussions with the medicinal chemistry team and design the best molecule we can to improve the quality of life of our patients. My favorite part of the day would be when you do data collection and you have really, really good data. That's a, a very good feeling. Okay, so this looks really interesting. Seems like we had a lot of good hits reproduced overnight. So that is exactly what we're looking for. Those are very nice, very large, well-defined crystals. So the next step is I will harvest these and then we'll go ahead and do some data collection on them and we'll see if we can get some really good information to help our uh, medicinal chemistry. Hopefully this gives you more of an idea or an appreciation of what kind of work goes into drug discovery. Thanks for joining me throughout this process. You brought some great luck and looking forward to the next steps.